working yes. for county official Rob Tellis returning home this afternoon in a paper jumpsuit. Sources tell 8 News Now investigators had spent part of the day questioning him about the murder of Review Journal investigative reporter Jeff Gearman. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us at 4. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Brian Loftus. We have a lot to cover tonight. The 8 News Now investigators with team coverage. David Charms here with more on what Jeff Gearman uncovered. But first, we head out live to Vanessa Murphy. She's been outside of the home all day after police spent all morning and afternoon searching his home. Vanessa. Detectives are zeroing in on public administrator Robert Tellis in this homicide case. The victim, investigative journalist Jeff Gearman. Now, as far as we know, Tellis is inside this home right now. Police dropped him off a short while ago. I tried talking with him. Did you do this? Did you commit this murder? Did you do Can this? You tell us anything? Why did police throw away your vehicle? Do you have a comment? Tellis was with investigators while police searched his home as they look for clues in the stabbing death of Review Journal investigative journalist Jeff Gehrman. He was found stabbed to death outside his home Saturday. Two vehicles were towed from the home of Tellis, one of them appearing to be similar from this vehicle placed near the scene of the murder. Police also released this video of the suspect. Tellis and Gehrman have a history. Gehrman reporting on problems within the public administrator's office including exposing a possible affair. Tellis then lost his bid for re-election in the Democratic primary. Now, Tellis was not happy with Gehrman's coverage. He tweeted about it. So again, that is one link police are looking at. Back to you. Vanessa, when you tried talking with him, he was wearing a white jumpsuit. Do you know why? Police took his clothes and then gave him that white paper jumpsuit. Again, right now he is a free man. I want to be clear. Uh, he is not facing charges at this time. He was not arrested. Again, as far as we know, he is still inside his home here. But again, police will continue their detective work. They took his clothes. They took at least a couple of vehicles and whatever else from this house. Back to you.